Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I am playing one of my more favorite heroes in the game. That is Lam. Looks like uh, he is also another biker, uh, similar to Guan Yu in that skin. So yeah, uh, Lam with the attack build. I think I go for one defense and that's it, full attack. And this is a five-man queue. We are against another five-man team, all from the Philippines. So I assume that they are a five-man. And we have four and one random. Our clash liner is the random here and uh, for for the first tip of the video always use your uh, smite the jungle punish item always use it at the start so usually we attack the, uh, the blue buff get it down to low HP and then we use the smite to secure it right but when you are playing as slam and if you are sure that no one is going to come and steal your try to steal your uh, blue buff you can always use your um, uh, smite first start with the smite and the reason for that is whenever the 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 hp of the target reaches below 30 percent lamb will deal extra two true damage to that target so as you can see uh, here i use the smite second and uh, usually when the target is at low hp they will even be marked and if you go towards a mark target with the first ability you even go faster and this is a this is the best case scenario the opponents were playing so aggressive right there and uh, when I completed the jungle they were pretty much in front of our tower so usually uh, people avoid doing that they will always play it safe when it's 1 minute and 30 seconds because that is when the jungler will arrive 1 minute 25 to 1 minute 40 seconds keep that in mind if you are a farm laner and if you know that the jungler is going to come to your lane 1 minute 25 seconds to 1 minute 35 seconds most important part try to play it safe unless you have your mage or you have your own jungler as well and if you are confident that you can take the fight play aggressive otherwise just play it safe and uh, the enemy jungler will not get any value and here since they are all attacking our legion i decided to engage here it's just charlotte and uh, uh yuhan but uh, what happened was uh, my ability cooldown is not low enough my blue buff ran out there right by the time i reached there my blue buff was gone which means i don't have the 20 percent cooldown reduction that it gives so in in this situation uh it's okay to start from the red side get the blue and then go to the fight because uh if you get the blue buff second you will have the blue buff for much longer during the fight right uh, it's just simple simple thing if i get it here uh, by the time I finish the red buff jungle and by the time I attack the enemies, my blue buff will, will pretty much be over. So if you want to make use of your blue buff, try your best to start from the red side. But other than that, there is no reason for you to start from the red side. Uh, always go for the blue first and then uh, come to the red. And you won't see me going for the red first at all and not even in this match. So yeah, early game, the 20% the matters, but once you get into the late game, it doesn't really matter that much because you in built will already have uh, the cooldown reduction that you need here i took her under the tower i mean i took her with me towards the mosi and i got the triple kill i know that i was going to die uh, by uh, two mosi there but i also knew that i will get the kill so since that is the third kill of the triple kill i decided to i was like okay let's get the kill get the triple kill and then we can die it's okay i wouldn't have engaged if i if I had known that I would uh, not get the kill. So yeah, I knew I will get the kill and I also knew I will die. So that is why that engage. Anyways, we are back. And since uh, I'm, I died before getting the red buff, I'm going to come to the red first now. So uh, by default, like automatically, the, the, the rotation has shifted a little bit. But it's okay. It's not going to be a permanent shift. I'm going to try and get this one. I don't think it gets con contested here. And we are in a pretty good spot, 3, 2, 1. After that first death, uh, trying to help our legion and unfortunately not being able to kill anyone. Oh, this this one was good, well played by our marksman here. Uh, the enemies kind of messed up. They were using all their abilities to kill our support, which allowed our marksman to get both the kills. Like, uh, that's insane for the marksman, especially, especially it's a marksman. A marksman getting a double kill on the enemy marksman and the enemy support is like pretty much game ending right there. So, so yeah, that, that was a very good uh, play by Microis. 
and we are back in our jungle again doesn't matter if your team is winning or losing if you even if your team has like 10000 gold lead never stop jungling and like don't try to like keep on taking fights and trying to win that way because against good opponents it won't work you will basically be throwing away the gold lead that you worked so hard to get okay here i knew that they'll be coming this way so i just went there and this uh, dia dia is sometimes very annoying especially to heroes like lam because uh, she does that uh, uh, immobilize right uh, whenever she uses her second ability and then comes and latches on to you or comes and attacks you i think you are immobilized you can't move from that position and for lam who is mostly going to attack and move around right if you are uh, playing with lam and you engage into a fight your auto attacks take you behind the enemy so you go left right left right and uh, since i'm immobilized i can't do anything i'm just standing there and by the way charlotte got a rework i didn't even know that uh, my next video is definitely going to be on charlotte okay so make sure to uh, hit the hit the notification bell if you haven't already charlotte rework uh, they told me that it's very good and that she's very strong now uh, like she can do five combos in the late game i i'm still not sure what that okay, i wanted to show the recall here i'm still not sure what uh, the rework of the charlotte is but they said it's good and uh, did you guys notice that this recall effect is very similar to Guan Yu's recall effect in that biker skin. Like moving around with the bike and then going very fast. And this is a very good engage. Uh, we go in and we get a triple kill here I think. And now no chance of escaping from Lamb. Whenever your HP is below 30% and if Lamb is chasing you. Once he turns into the shark and uses his first ability. He's going to come in so fast. No, I don't think any hero can just outrun him just with the movement speed. Like if you have dashes to take you through walls, sure you can run. But just with movement speed, Lamb is just so fast when chasing an enemy who is at low HP. Like a shark, someone who is bleeding, the shark will get attracted to the scent of the blood, right? Uh, the same concept uh, for Lamb here. Okay. Alright. Debating whether I should engage here or not. I decided to go in and I, I get the kill. I come out. I turn on the... I shouldn't have gone in here, I, I end up dying, that was purely my bad, right? I should have just came back after getting that one kill, but uh, right now since we are winning, I'm playing kinda aggressive, I mean, I mean I'm playing really aggressive and that is the reason why I died. And one more tip for Guan, I mean Gan and Mo, uh, she is a sniper and a shotgun combined, if you are right in front of the enemy, just use your abilities like quickly and you will just destroy them one shot if they are far away you deal 100% damage if they are very close you still deal 100% damage so she uh, they are a mix of a shotgun and a sniper rifle right so yeah keep that in mind uh, if you are running away and if you have all abilities and the enemy is like a melee hero is chasing you and they are very close just turn towards them throw all the abilities they will die even tanks get melted Okay, another very bad play by me. I decided to engage here, but I should have kept in mind that it's three stunners, right? It's Dia Dia, Mozi, and the third one is Lady G, Sun, but uh, she... It, uh, if it's uh, non-stun heroes, like some, some warriors and uh, the marksman, maybe we could have had a better chance there, but it was, it was impossible right there. And again... Our marksman is engaging, but the one good thing for the marksman right now is that the enemies don't have their ultimates. They used all their ultimates for me, which means that our marksman and support are just going to have a field day right there. They just went there, got the, uh, all three of the skills and uh, yeah, right now the marksman has even more gold than me. And uh, guys, let me know what you think about this new like goatee style beard i have been doing this very a very long time ago i just wanted to do it again and i feel like a much older person uh, yeah i think i look like a much older person in this uh, hair in this beard style okay we get the that was a very bad timing for that the knock from that uh, overlord again uh, bad engage from me. I'm not gonna cut these bad engages because I just want to show that it's not possible, right? I did a mistake clearly and uh, you don't do this mistake. It's impossible to win against crowd control as uh, Lamb. Lamb is not uh, the Lamb he used to be. He was just insane. 
you like everyone knows about the old lamb by now right he would have destroyed uh, not three but even if it was eight nine enemies there he will kill everyone and come out because we go for the tanky build the tanky build does not work right now because his healing is so bad he doesn't heal at all in that tank build very low healing he'll just die immediately so the best thing to do is go for this build but you have to play very carefully like those two the final two engages that i took uh those were mistakes right and you saw how instantly i died one small mistake and you will die that is the state of lamb right now look at this the immobilize ability of diadia made sure that i'm not able to chase lady sun there i was using my ult but i was just ulting in the same spot i didn't even move a little bit that is a very very good uh, stun by diadia she helped she made sure that the lady sun uh, lady sun ran away i was so mad uh, and i was like okay diadia you really want to save your marksman that much then you die but that was the whole point right that was what she was going to do there she was trying to do and she managed to do it so well played to her but yeah lamb right now one mistake could cost you and uh, if you are playing properly you will see uh, i mean you have been seeing i have 9 kills right now and you saw how instantly the enemies die but one problem is you will also die instantly if you if you engage pro if you don't engage properly right we are just camping here this is not a very good spot to camp because people will obviously know like this is where you are but for some reason these opponents decide to not even check not even check that brush and they engaged on our marksman first which means that they uh, have all used their abilities i gather them in one spot i attack charlotte is just stunning me over and over again it's kind of annoying because it's interrupting my flawless beautiful combo uh, but yeah i i think i got uh, the frost scar embrace item here it's a tanky item and i'm going for another tank item maybe this is like a hybrid build i'm not really sure what i was building here but i know one thing you will die right you are not uh, invincible lamb anymore you will die immediately and here we were just debating whether to end it or uh, try to get a little bit more kills to have fun but because we had the match obviously we had the match under our control we were going to win anyways uh, pretty much so yeah uh, that's going to be it for the video and uh, this is lamb he has not been changed at all after that that big uh, nerf that they gave him making him uh, a damage based builder uh, not a tanky one here our marksman got the mvp because because of my stupid deaths those three deaths that uh, i should have surely avoided and look at this i have the most damage in our team let's pause it here yeah uh, i had 36% damage and marksman had 34 so me and marksman pretty much uh, solo carried this i mean duo carried this game but our teammates were very good as well our support was good and demetrix was uh, was in a call throughout most of the match he didn't even play properly so yeah um i am going to make the charlotte video uh, the next one because of course the rework seems to be pretty broken because that's what people say so let me i'll check it out i'll play it actually i'll read the description and then i'll play it as a first impression video i will try to record it as a live video for you guys okay so yeah That's going to be it for today's video guys. I hope you all found this video entertaining and helpful and if you did make sure to support me by hitting the like and subscribe button. I hope you all have a really great day and I'll see you guys in the next video.